All right, for more on today's market action, let's bring in Keith Lerner. He's the chief market strategist over at SunTrust. Uh, Keith, good to talk to you again. Uh, I, I just want to get your take on what we've seen today um, and what you think has been driving the narrative uh, in this trading session. Hey, hey, good afternoon, everyone. Um, so I heard some of the early comments about the yield curve that's front and center. I know I've been getting a couple of questions today. So I think the, the slower global growth uh, outlook is certainly a concern, but maybe I can provide some perspective on, on what we're, we're thinking here. Uh, first, uh, we've been thinking, regardless of this latest narrative or news, we thought that the upside was somewhat limited short term as you approach those October and November highs. And don't forget, we've, we're coming off a 20% rally off the lows. And then the, the narrative on the yield curve, which is the latest concern in the ongoing carousel of concerns that this bull market has, has, has seen, that I think it's legitimate, right? It's a yellow flashing light, but I would urge folks not to just use one indicator by itself. When you look at the yield curve, the 10-3 spread, yes, it has preceded a recession. Our work shows on average about 15 months. It inverts ahead of the yield curve, but there's also some wide variation, meaning we seen recession happen after that signal five months later, and other times we saw it where it was over 30 months later, 39 months later. And, and also, as mentioned earlier, we've seen a wide variation in the, uh, in the stock market side. You know, our best uh, base case is that we're more likely to see a soft landing as opposed to a hard landing. But I will tell you something that's very interesting. When you have seen the Fed pause historically, whether you go into a slowdown or a hard landing, the initial part of the economy and interest rates show a similar picture. That means that manufacturing data, economic data tends to be weak for several months thereafter, mm -hmm. and it's normal for the U.S. Treasury yield to continue to move down in either scenario. You know, Keith, I think today's action or, or today's discussion is really about the yield curve. Um, I'm quite interested in what's going to happen in about a month when we start getting corporate earnings rolling in. Uh, when you look at the setup for the market into what's likely to be a, a pretty average at best first quarter corporate earnings period, uh, do you see some downside risk out there when even though we know earnings growth is likely to be flat, maybe even slightly negative, it would seem like there's a lot of downside surprises out there, a lot of guidance cuts we haven't yet heard. And normally, um, ahead of the earnings season is when we start to see that pick up. So, yeah, maybe there's some short-term risk. I would say an interesting phenomenon is we're starting to see forward earning estimates stabilized after being cut pretty drastically. And I would also say, you know, I think one thing that may be a positive supply, maybe more of a second-half story, is that, one, we think that China's stimulus, what's in the pipeline right now, which is greater in totality than what we saw in 2016, will start to help stabilize the global economy. If China stabilizes, that's good for trading partners like Japan and Europe, which is you know, under the gun today. And the second thing I remind you all, which I think we all know this, since 2010, the first quarter in the U.S. has averaged growth of about 1.3%. All the other quarters have averaged over 2.2%. So we also think you'll see a little bit better data in the U.S. in the second quarter. And we still think that China will uh, help stabilize the economy. So maybe this upcoming quarter on the earnings side could be a little bit weak. But I, I, we suspect those earnings trends actually stabilize or even maybe start to exceed estimates as we get back into the later part of the year. Hey, Keith, I know you mentioned before, this is Shauna Smith. I know you mentioned before that the upside limited or the upside was limited in the short term. So would you think that today the selling that we saw today when the Dow was off over 400 points, that that was a little bit overdone? Maybe on a short-term basis, but you also remember the 400 points in the Dow isn't what it used to be, and we're still, as mentioned earlier, we haven't really moved that much down for the week. Um, you know, as we're looking at this, um, you know, I think you have some pretty good support in the market, just above 2,700. And our expectation is, historically, when you have had these reflex rallies or rebounds after the selling pressure we saw in December, the normal pattern is strong reflex rally, a lot of momentum, and then a battle between fear and greed for several months. Um, before you make a move higher. And that's our expectation. We're probably more in a churning environment, a back and forth, kind of frustrating for the bulls and the bears. But we are not in the camp that we're going to see a retest of the lows. All right. Keith Lerner with SunTrust. Uh, good to talk to you, and we'll talk soon. Great. Thank you, guys.